Hello everyone, welcome to Color Up Things with me, Melissa. It came, it came, it came. Look at that rose gold, isn't that pretty? I just love rose gold. It's one of my favorite colors. I don't like gold, I prefer a silver, but if I have to wear a gold, it's typically a rose gold. So shine, look at it shine. So shiny. Like the, like the crab from Moana. So shiny. I don't know that song very well. Ah, but it's here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know there's tons of flip throughs and feel free to just get that out of the way. Just ignore mine and move along or whatever. But I'm excited and I have to share in because, yeah. So let's look in a book. Um, if you're curious, so, um, the British one's a little smaller, but so that's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. It's the same, almost the same height, but just a little shorter. It's the same square that, um, uh, Secret Garden and all of that is. So, open her up. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love this. I know this is a special, um, I was watching a live stream where Joanna Basford said that she actually has handpicked this paper and it is her paper that she has chosen for her books. She chose it for Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and for this one. So it's the same paper as an Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. But as with paper batches, like she said, you get variations within paper batches. So it's not like exact, exact, but it's, as good as it gets. You have this gorgeous little flip out here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, let's, let's get it all, all in here. Maybe. There we go. So you have this beautiful nameplate page. So pretty. Or not nameplate page, but the, you know what I mean. Because the nameplate page is over here. Oh, let's see. I feel like I can go like that. There we go. Oh, so this is one page where Joanna did not stay away from the middle of the book. Hmm. Interesting. Hi, kitty kitty. Are you coming to look at the book too? You come look at the book too, Miss Marvel? Huh? Come say hi. Why are you sitting on my book? You say hi to everybody. Yeah. I love you too. Sometimes. When you're not trying to, you know, eat my food. Alright. Time to go. Thank you. I got my stuff all dirty. Means I need to clean my floors. So, then you have the introduction as to how she was inspired and, and all of that. Lovely, lovely pictures, some bleeding hearts, some other just beautiful, beautiful pictures. It's a little bit different. Don't lick my leg. So, you can tell that she's grown from... Uh, secret garden to now I mean, you can kind of see how her stuff has evolved how it stayed the same etc so and then we open up to this lovely wildflower page it just looks like wildflowers um hi do you think walking on my shoulder is gonna help you gonna jump no you fell go Go. Thank you. Walking on my pencils. Excellent. But this beautiful wildflower spread. I just see this in a field somewhere. Even though you have like some orchids in here, which are a little more exotic than what you would find in a wildflower. Um, Cause here's some orchids over here too. The like the monkey orchids and and all of those. Um, 
a little more exotic than what you would find in a typical wildflower meadow, but you know, nice circle, circular uh, picture here, lots of different flowers, but then you have like the same ones all tossed in. And so what I like to do is then color them all the same color. And then you have a really cohesive page because all of these are the same color. And then you have all of these little ones are the same color. And then you have all of these. Is that the only one? All of these the same color. And so it, it becomes more cohesive. Yes, you have lots of different flowers in here but you have like them spattered throughout so you can bring it all together and then this is looks like a little succulent uh, page where it's just you know little um, pots of succulents which is adorable I love succulents and really when I get um, when I get a lot of color inspiration for some things it's usually from succulents that I get the inspiration from just because they're so varied this is cute, the pencil's growing. I know everybody's seen it before. I'm just going through and going ooh and ah, some daffodils, I love it. And when, um, oh I forget what these hanging plants are. My grandma used to get them all the time and then these are the bleeding hearts. And this almost looks like a passion flower. And then this is the 30 days of flowers spread. Um, a little bit bigger than what we got to print out, but that was fun. This is adorable. I love this. It almost reminds me of Hannah Carlson, but with Joanna Basford's flair to it. Um, I love this. I can imagine this like a, a rose gold filigree thing in here with a glass. So pretty. So pretty. This cute little... I always love seeing these at like Lowe's or something. And then you have the flower border. It's very pretty, very soft. But they have these at Lowe's, the little planters. I love them. I love them. I never buy them because I'll kill them, but I love them. I love that this is why I saw, I don't know which, which side, but I saw one of the spreads for this in Joanna's Instagram just as like a teaser. And this is why I bought the book. Just these little knickknacks and just I love everything about this as much as I groaned about the Wonder Room and Inky and the Ivy but Ivy and the Inky Butterfly I loved the Wonder Room I loved it it was just so much fun to just do a little section at a time and that's what I would plan on doing each section would be its own thing um, and but then make it a whole <clears throat> Excuse me, but so this is this is why I bought the book. I mean, I like I like a lot of it, but I don't necessarily like this type of pattern thing. I'm not a I don't dig patterns. It also goes into the spine. Um, I don't dig patterns, but it's kind of nice because if you do something on this side and it bleeds through. It's just bleeding through onto a pattern. You can throw some color on and be done with it. I love these little circle things. Um, I don't know that that was needed in the middle, but I love the little circle things. Like little planters of their own. Another planter, super cute. This reminds me of uh, Maria Troll with these. But again, Joanna Flair. Again, a repeated pattern. Not my favorite, but it's very pretty. Now, some of this, like this, I could just go in with like my Tombows or something and just color it. And be done. I love this framing. I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram lately where they, they are framing out their pictures so it's less area to color. So like they wouldn't color outside of the frame except for something like this that came out. And I think that's really clever and cute. This is another pretty, again, with the rose gold and a nice 
dome terrarium type thing. This is adorable too. I love this. Reminds me of Jen Cat's cactus page. Buggies. Not my favorite, but very well done. Again, another pattern page. This is adorable. I can just imagine how many people are going to have some beautiful interpretations of this page. I have an image in mind. I am not capable of doing that image yet, but hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. This almost looks like it could be drapes of some kind. Interesting. Very sweet, simple. This would be something very cool to like really practice some heavy detail. Um, and detail work like specific lines in the in the um, flowers and just really really pump that up with some really good detail on there another pattern wallpaper like page still very pretty nice planter row very cute I love this planter and I love I love when things hang down off of a planter that was always my favorite thing when planting I had one of those tiered stacked um, the red clay and I stacked it four high so I had like a giant 18 inch clay pot and it went all the way up to probably a four or five inch and I had stacked them up and I had like cascading stuff that came down it was so much fun just like this just like this just cascading down it was so fun this is cute I love that nice little old car this is adorable I love everything about this I know what those are my grandmother has some I can picture them in my head I know what they look like that's always fun for me too to color them as is N nice like fish pond koi thing this is the same um, Joanne has done this in other books but it works out beautifully another uh, pattern page <gasps> I saw this in a different flip through and I just fell in love with this page this is another one where just taking a, a shelf at a time and just taking my time enjoying it and going through this book it's it's sciency enough that I think it's really, really cool. I mean, just look at that. It's so cool. And a lovely heart, flower heart. This is very cute. These are the bleeding hearts. Tulips, maybe. I know some flower names, not a lot. Another pattern type page. This is, I love this with the the sticks going around and all of that. I think this is amazing. And this would be one where I wouldn't go outside of the main ring to color. It would stay within. And I think that would be so beautiful. So beautiful. Lovely night sky right in here. Really pop some colors. That would be so pretty. Another one of Joanna's little ribbon things. I love these. They're very cute. Simple, easy. No muss, no fuss. Like it. Another circle. I love the circles. They're very beautiful. Again, I probably would not go outside of the circle. Another pattern page. Huge, huge, beautiful flowers. That's a little too much area for me. I like the small stuff. What can I say? But very pretty, very pretty. Be good to work on like some color combos or something on this page nice frame something needs to go in there though that would be interesting to do something in there even like a multimedia type something where you know you color the outside and the inside and then you put um, like a collage type thing on the inside that'd be pretty a little pheasant type bird I think it's a pheasant just the shape it looks pheasanty another wreath very pretty <clears throat> big big flowers again super big another ribbon very pretty 
I love this scene. This is so pretty. I just love it. You, inside here, just like its own little terrarium. So cute, so pretty. Another repeated pattern. These are gorgeous. You can just do them each separate and have them be their own cohesive unit. And then all together it would be so pretty. Another large flower circular. Very pretty. Little, I don't know what that is, but it's cute. I like, the butterflies are still showing up everywhere. Uh, wallpaper page, repeated patterns. Big flower with a whole bunch of stuff inside. Very pretty. Buggies. If you like buggies. This is interesting coming from the corner. Uh, something like almost like a gingerbread house. It's very cute. Again, it's kind of a square shape. Oh, I was looking at this on, on a flip through too and... I can't wait until I get to the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly where it has these little squares. I have so many ideas for that. And this as well. This is just gorgeous. Super cute over here. A little repeated. Like a mirrored image. This would be really good for practicing colors. A oh, lovely butterfly or moth. That's super pretty. Another mirrored image. This is really, I love this. Um, I almost wish it would have been turned like a half moon, a crescent moon, but I love this. I have earrings that kind of look like this, and they're some of my favorite earrings. It's just they have more of a Celtic design instead of flowers. A nice sugar skull. That'd be super fun. And a lovely double page spread. I do like that nothing's in the middle there. So. I just, I think it's adorable. And then you have like the little wish flowers. My daughters call them wish flowers. The uh, dandelion. They call them wish flowers. And the end. And color test page. And a lovely, lovely garden scene back here that is, you can take it out, and it is double-sided. So it is a double-sided. So and then over here, also. So pretty, so much detail. This would take forever, and I would love, love, love. And then you have the inside. So there you go. Very pretty, very cute. I love... I don't love all of Joanna Basford's work. Like I don't like repeated patterns, but that's my preference. Um, but there are elements in this book that I will color and I will love and I will cherish. And the rose gold on the outside gives me so many ideas about what to put on the inside. Just gorgeous. I hope you guys like it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.